In this video I'm going to do a quick comparison of my low power Intel NUC and it's the Celeron uh, N3050 model. I'll put a link in the description. I did another video where I built this machine and I'll be comparing it to a Raspberry Pi and I'll be using Ubuntu Mate. Um, I, on the left here I have the uh, Intel NUC and it's running Ubuntu Mate 16.10. I couldn't get 16.4 working easily at least. And then on the right I have the Raspberry Pi with Ubuntu Mate 16.04. And uh, first I'll do a little demonstration of rebooting these. So I'll get both of them set up here. And then I'll hit the button at the same time. Oops, I didn't quite get it. There we go. So, um, one reason I made this video is you might uh, be considering a low power computer and you might wonder which one you want to get. Um, I did a couple measurements with a kilowatt and on standby power, um, the Intel NUC takes 0.6 watts and then the Raspberry Pi doesn't have standby power, but if you shut it down, it'll go into a kind of standby mode and it takes 0.7 watts. So this takes 1. watts less than the Raspberry Pi. When you're in idle, uh, when you're not doing anything on it, it's just showing the desktop. The NUC is, is taking uh, 5.1 watts and the Raspberry Pi is taking 2 watts. So um, the Raspberry Pi takes quite a bit less uh, energy on standby. So I'll log in to both of these. Now, um, there are a couple, probably the biggest difference in performance between these two um, is the storage. The Raspberry Pi has a 32 gigabyte Samsung Pro Plus micro SD card, and the Intel NUC has a Samsung 850, 84, it's an 850 Evo SSD. I did a quick benchmark on here, it's nothing scientific. I was getting about 13 megabytes per second reads on this, 13 and a half megabytes, and this was getting about 530. So that's a huge difference there. I also did um, a test where I encoded a file and the Intel NUC was about twice as fast as the Raspberry Pi in uh, that comparison. So if you're looking at these two machines looking for a low power option, if you have uh, something that will work well with low, um, the low power of the Raspberry Pi, like if you're building a display, uh, like a kiosk display maybe, uh, the Raspberry Pi might be the better option because it's a little low power in standby mode. If you need power to actually do something, say you're rendering something in the background, uh, but you want a little bit more performance, your probably best bet is probably the Intel NUC. I'll do some more comparisons here. I'll open up LibreOffice. I'll open up uh, Calc, because a lot of people uh, probably use spreadsheets. So I'll get these ready. I'll click them at the same time. You see the Intel NUC's up, and here the Raspberry Pi is up. Next I'll open up uh, the Firefox web browser, and I'll leave the calc open in the background. And I haven't uh, seen anything that shows the Raspberry Pi to be faster. The Raspberry Pi is a quad-core processor, and the NUC is a two-core processor, so there could be some things where you have a speed advantage on the Raspberry Pi. Um, let's say you want to go to a website. Let's go to uh, Ubuntu Mate. I'll get that loaded up on both of these.
Looks like in that case the Raspberry Pi came up a little bit faster. Let's try uh, CNN.com. News sites tend to have lots of ads. So really neither of these are blazing fast. But you can see the Intel NUC came up quite a bit faster. In comparison, I'll show my iPad Pro here. It brings up the site incredibly fast. So neither of these are speed demon machines. But they are low power. So if you needed a machine that was going to be on all the time, one of these might be a good choice for you. So... Um, that's all I'm going to compare on these. I just wanted to do a comparison of these two low power machines utilizing the same operating system. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this uh, helpful, I would love if you could click the like button. And uh, also, if you haven't already, I'd, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be great. And thanks for watching. Bye.